hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to get notified through email if your stock price goes above or below the desired price using a simple google ads script so in order to do that first we need to know the stock price on your google spreadsheet and you should make the stock price gets updated every minute on your google spreadsheet so that even if you not open the spreadsheet this will get refreshed every minute because this is running on the client server so you no need to open and monitor for every 24 hours so first one is we have to make the changes so that uh, this stock price will get refreshed every minute and second one is you have to set the high and low price so if it goes above or below the desired price you have to get a notification and to get the notification you should uh, have to set up a trigger so that it will trigger the email to the desired or uh, to the given email id so these are the three simple things which we are going to see right now first we want to know the price of stock to know the price of stock google has provided a very simple formula called google finance you can select the formula and it will accept so many parameter but what we want is we want to know the current price of the stock that we want to track let's say i want to track the price of amazon and i want to know the price so i should pass the attribute as price here and once i click on enter it will get refreshed and it gives you an updated price of amazon stock that you can check it out in google as well if you want so that's it so we got the price of our desired stock that we want but one thing is it should get refreshed every minute in order to do that go to file spreadsheet settings and calculation and just ensure that you have selected on change and every minute click on that and click on save settings so what it will do means it will refresh all the formulas in the sheet that is in the google spreadsheet every minute so you will get an updated stock price on your google spreadsheet even if it is not opened now let's go to script editor and see how to write a simple program so that you will get notified when there is a change in the stock price so i have named this uh, project as a stock price tracker and i'm going to change this function as a stock price i have to create an object for the sheet one i name this object as a sh1 so i have, i'm going to use the class spreadsheet app to get active spreadsheet and uh, i want to create a variable to get the price of amazon let's say amazon price and i'm going to get the price that is uh, stored on the range a1 of this sheet 1 so osh1 dot get sheet by name and i should give the sheet name here sheet 1 and i should get the range of the sheet so get range what is the range i want to get so this is in the a1 that is first row or first column and finally i want the value so i should use the method get value that's it so let's check whether it is getting the actual amazon price on the range a1 or not using a simple log up let's save this one and just ensure that the stock price is selected click on the run function go to view and locks yes 1125.35 yes it's getting the correct value so let me come on this one so now what i want is i should get a notification through email if the price goes above my desired price or goes below my desired price so let's say if amazon price right now it's 1125 if it is goes greater than 1200 then i should get an email in order to get an email you should use a class called mail app dot send email select a method send email with three parameter recipient and in the recipient you have to give the email id to which you want to send it. you can give the same email id uh, as uh, this uh, spreadsheet belongs to for example this mail app that send email will send email on 
on the recipient that is a uh, where, where you have saved this spreadsheet that email id will be taken as a reference to send email even if you want to get notified through the same email id you can give the same email ID. or if you want to get notified to a separate email you can give that email as well let's say i, I want to get notified to this email id just for an example just one two three i'm going to give this one and subject uh, stock price alert and in the body you have to give what is the response of or if you want a simple message stating that your stock is going up that's it so if Amazon price is greater than 200 you will get an email to this email ID with the subject stock price alert and with an email your stock is going up and else if the same Amazon goes below it's right now trading at 1125 if it goes below 1100 then you should get an alert for the same let's copy this one the stock let's say oops the stock is going down save this one using control plus s or go to file and save the script that's it the script is done so now if you have a look at that we have created an object for this spreadsheet one and we have created a variable to track the amazon price it get the value from the range a1 and we have used a simple a false condition to check the price of uh, amazon uh, stock price of uh, amazon symbol and we have used a simple mail app class to get an email notification to the desired email id with the desired subject and with a body that we want so that's it we are done with everything and one more thing is you should set a trigger then only this email will send to the particular email id that you have given for example if you run this script manually and when during the compilation time if the stock price goes uh, above 1200 or if the stock price is trading less than 1100 then you will get notified but the thing is you cannot open this script and run it for every hour or every minute you have to set up a trigger functionality so that will run on behalf of you so let's see how to set up a simple trigger there are actually two ways to set up a trigger one is a programmatic trigger and another one is a ui trigger so ui uh, google app script will have the settings to get the trigger so that you can trigger this from the options that was provided in the google app script itself so go to edit and current project trigger as of now no trigger has been set up so click on this one and here you have to select the function name that should get executed and our function should be executed on a time driven basis so select the time driven and it should be a hot timer so click on hot timer and it should get executed every hour if you want to get executed or if you want to run the script for every two hour you can select two hour or if you want to run the script for every hour click on every hour and click on the save so it will ask you for authorization on a very first time so you have to review the permission select the account sometimes you will get this app is end verified click on the advanced and click on just go to stock price tracker and save and type a word continue here and click on next so that's it give allow so we are done with the settings so what we'll do means uh, this spreadsheet get refreshed every minute and if the stock goes above or below the desired price and this trigger functionality will validate that and send an email to you so this is a simple stock price tracker and if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video bye bye